Good morning, Langenor. Today you will, we will review the registration process and graduation requirements. The registration survey for current 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students is now open in Naviance. You must complete your survey by Wednesday, February 14th. Please be sure to review your course selections with a parent or guardian before submitting your final selections. To begin your registration, select Naviance from the Lancer Quick Links on the main page of the Linganore website. Remember that to log on to Naviance, it is your student ID number for both the username and password. To get to the registration survey, click on the About Me tab on, not on the Naviance homepage. To, to the link to the registration survey is on the left-hand side under Surveys to Take. The registration survey begins with general information questions with an asterisk must be answered. You cannot submit your course selections without completing these questions. To complete your course selections, begin with your required academic courses. There are many course, courses available, so be sure to keep track that, uh, that you are selecting eight total credits. Remember that some courses are year-long, such as Advanced Placement Biology 1 and 2, so that selection will count for two credits. You must select a total of eight credits to account for your regular course selections. As much as we would like all students to get all their regular course selections, that is not always possible. So it is important that you provide the course number and name of three alternate choices. Please copy and paste the number and name of courses from previous questions in the survey in the three alternate course option questions. The dual enrollment program at Linganore is important. Toward the end of the junior and senior survey, you will be asked about your interest in dual enrollment options that are planned here for Linganore High School. These selections will not count as part of your regular or alternate choices. For example, if you plan to take English 101, you will first have to select one of the three English 12 options at question number eight on the senior re registration survey. The end of the survey requires that you answer the question that reminds you to review your course selections. If you need to ask questions of your parent, teacher, or school counselor, select save and return later. Otherwise, select save and I am finished. Remember that you must complete your survey by February 14th. Let's take a moment to review the graduation requirements. You must earn at least 25 credits in order to graduate. You must take four English credits, one each year, four math credits, at least one each year, three social studies, which are government, modern world history, and American studies two, or their advanced placement options, three science credits, one of which must be biology, one half credit of health, one half credit of fitness for life, and one credit of technology education, which can be foundations of technology, introduction to engineering design, or foundations of computer science. One credit of a fine art, and one half credit of financial literacy, along with a computer completer program and elective credits to total at least 25 credits. Completer program options are University of Maryland System, which requires two credits of the same world language and completion of Algebra II, or a Career and Technology Education program, which is at least four credits. Career and Technology programs available at Linganar are Project Lead the Way, Horticulture, Child Development, Woodworking, Engines, and Work Study, or an Advanced Technology Completer, which is the two courses Architectural Engineering Design 1 and 2. It is possible and encouraged to be a dual completer. You are encouraged to review your course history in Naviance to ensure that you are selecting courses to meet graduation requirements along with the correct level of courses such as upper level ceramics or additional classes in team sports volleyball. Here are a few reminders about registration. You must complete your survey by 5 p.m. on February 14th. You should use the suggested courses provided by your teachers as a guide. Please attend Registration Information Night on February 7th. Talk to your parents, teachers, and school counselors if you have questions. You must sign up for eight credits 
and three alternates. You may take only one PE class per semester, so do not select more than two PE courses. Talk to the school counselor at lunch if you have questions, and course descriptions can be found at the course offering guide on the FCPS website. Lastly, it is extremely important to take the registration process seriously. The courses offered and staffing of Linganar High School are, for next year are determined by the selections that you make now. Schedule changes cannot be made later when space is no longer available in classes. School counselors work throughout the summer to balance student semester schedules with academic and elective courses while meeting graduation requirements and balancing class sizes. Thank you for taking the time to complete your registration survey and have a great day. We'll always want new people in to have fresh ideas, different ways to do things. Um, it's a great opportunity for people that might not know that they want to go into this line of work or not, so we can expose them to different ways we can um, techniques that we can use, we can the software we use, how to set up a recorded video, um, how to create an introduction and maybe a little bit of a screenplay. Um, and just kind of enhance all what we do here at the school as well as in the community. Um, because I'm really interested in it on the on and camera acting and the behind the scenes work. So how did you come with the best class to take for that? It's actually really fun and it helps you get out of your comfort zone. Take the Digicom. Alright, welcome to the 2018 edition of Social Studies Feud. I'm your host, Mr. Birch. I've been at Langenor for 16 years. I went to SRU, i.e. The Rock, and I teach AP European History, and I love sub-freezing temperatures. Let's meet our other Social Studies contestants today. Hi, uh, James Jensen from New York City, New Hampshire. 13 years teaching to here at Langenor. Hi, I'm Mr. Beaver. I went to the TU. I teach a little AP Macro, a little History 202, a little AS2, and a little Gov on the side. And I like long walks on the beach. Hello, I'm Mr. Hines. I went to Shepherd University. I have been teaching for 18 years. I've been here the last five. I uh, am a diehard Eagles fan, and uh, I teach American Studies too, as well as AP US. Hi, I'm Mr. Hornbeck. Been here 32 years. Uh, I went to West Virginia Wesleyan College. I teach sociology, national and global issues, and the new 9/11 class for teaching. Hi, I'm Michelle Richardson, and I've been here at Linganore for 14 years and been teaching for 18. I teach AP World History and Government. I'm also the coach of prom, and I love to talk about soccer. My name is Dylan Murphy, and I've taught here at Linganore for 14 years. I teach psychology, modern world history, AP Human Geo, and local and Maryland history. 
Hi, I'm Mrs. Hendy. I'm from the University of Delaware. I've been here for six years. I teach AP government, regular government, and World War II. I'm a former lawyer, but I love being here at Leonor, and I'm obsessed with this handsome guy. So we are at Diggs, Duke University, seven years teaching, two here at Leonor. I teach AP Psych and Business Studies too, and I love to talk about my little baby. I'm Angela Smith Heisler. I went to Mount St. Mary's University, aka The Mount. Um, I teach government, modern world history. I also have a split personality because I teach drama and dance and I direct the plays. And I've been at Lingor for two years. And we'll be back after these important social studies messages. Hey guys, welcome to another great year at Lincoln Art High School, and it is time to register for classes. And what are you going to register for? Social studies. Social studies. Come on over to our hallway here, and Mr. Birch is going to tell you about our classes. So, we have single semester AP US history with the Heinz, and we're also offering it uh, year long for ninth graders. We have World War II with uh, Miss Hendy, the redhead version of World War II. We have AP World History with Mama Ah and Mr. Jensen. We have AP European History where the cooler and better are here. We have AP US government with Miss Hendy again. We have September 11th with Mr. Hornbeck. Got a little national global issues also, Mr. Hornbeck. Got a little world issues with Mama Ah. We got AP Psych with Miss we got sociology with Mr. Hornbeck. We got AP Macro with the B. We got a little AP Human with Ms. Murphy. And a little Maryland Local History uh, up for grabs. And a little psychology with Ms. Murphy. The question though is, Ms. Hendy, how much is all of this going to cost? I don't know. What do you think? It's free! <laughs> Name the top five reasons to take a social studies elective. <laughs> You'll learn a lot. You'll learn a lot. <laughs> Mark Dog, do you? Top reason to take a social studies elective. They're interesting. <laughs> All right, the fiery redhead. Another reason to take a social studies course. They're great for college. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. And Miss Dix, one last answer. Mama R. Um, for Mr. Burgess, top story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aww. Eve's cool hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because redheads rule the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, a chance to steal. German class. You may not know that Leonor High School offers a German class. This class is very discussion based and talks about Germany's past and thus present society. In German class, you not only discuss the language and how the language functions as a whole, you also explore the country and the culture. It shows students who may be interested in learning German how different, how similar America and Germany is. It's a beautiful and developed country. In German class, like most foreign language classes, there are a couple opportunities to go on field trips. For example, last year we went to German American Day at McDaniel College. Also over the summer, a select few of us were able to go to Germany and immerse ourselves into the culture. Miss Carlin, 
I teach Latin. I'm in room C, 219. Come take Latin with me. If you like Star Wars, if you like Harry Potter, if you like stories of warriors and kings and greatness, come take Latin with me. You will learn all about the Iliad, the Odyssey, and all of the ancient heroes. Achilles, for example. Do you like the Walt Disney's Hercules video? That's a great one. My kids love it. But if you really like that, come take Latin with me. We're going to study all of these wonderful heroes. Plus, we're going to study a language that some people say, it's dead. Why do you want to take that? Because it's very much alive. 80% of your English words come from Latin. So come join me for Latin. It's fun. Where else can you play heads up, seven up, and learn how to throw a ball but in Latin? Thank you. I'm Jack Adams, and I'm in computer graphics. I'm Natalie Blue. And I'm Sierra Carpenter. And we're in Color Guard. Colleen Avila, and I'm in 2D AP Studio Art. I'm Cassie Grohl, and I take advanced theater production. My name is Allie Hudson, and I'm taking band seven. I'm Hannah Dufresne, and I take technical theater two. My name's Abby, and I take jewelry two. My name is Abby Malloyd and I am in Jewelry 2. My name is Stefan Berlu and I'm in Jewelry 2. My name is Jessica Flores and I'm in Jewelry 3. Jewelry 2 is more of the advanced jewelry stuff. We use the basic stuff for Jewelry 1, but we are more comfortable with the materials. We're more independent and by ourselves with the products that we are making and we get to use more expensive things. We're learning more techniques that are more uh, complex and detailed than they were in Jewelry 1. You can do a lot more things like especially three-dimensional stuff with jewelry and incorporating metal into other art forms is definitely like a fun thing to do. I enjoyed the idea of uh, being able to shape it myself. This class and other art classes in general are just uh, they're really fun and they're a way you can either uh, relieve stress or express emotions that you have that you don't know how to say. You don't necessarily have to have like nice painting or drawing skills, you just need to be able to work with your hands. The premise of AP 2D art is mark making, 
so we can do pretty much anything that fits within that field. I'm in um, AP 3D studio art, so there's a 2D class and a 3D class. And I do more like play stuff, um, modeling, sculpting, stuff like that. In middle school, I started trying out um, a lot of different mediums, and I did this uh, local art fair called Mayfair and I made a bunch of acrylic paintings and then I found that I was pretty okay at it so I just continued with it. More people should get involved in it because it's a really good way to express yourself and um, there's an art form for everybody even if you don't think you're good at art you might be good at a different form of it. It's just easier to make something and let someone else like figure out what your meaning was instead of trying to like tell them yourself. I still I love to make art and I love to create art and really that's all you need to, uh, to do it, you just have to love it.